This is a fun Thanksgiving STEM activity based on the book How to Catch a Turkey by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Before we hear the instructions for the STEM activity, let's first hear the story How to Catch a Turkey. <laughs> Welcome back to Read a Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read the book How to Catch a Turkey. Let's find out if this crazy turkey ever gets caught. How to Catch a Turkey from the New York Times best selling team Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Here we are on Thanksgiving Day. It's that special time of year. Yes, I know I am a turkey. That much should be clear. So gather round, I have a tale, and it's really quite a story. What I tell you now is not a joke, it is my crowning glory. It all began one year ago. I was at a school, you see. Play preparations were underway, but that didn't matter to me. Some kids walked by in silly clothes, talking about the play. We'll even have a turkey on stage. It's perfect for Thanksgiving Day. Turkey? Stage? No way, no how. Had I really heard that right? I broke out of my pen and ran away with a case of bad stage fright. I burst into the science room, knocked over flasks and beakers, and the cry of catch that turkey boomed over the loudspeakers. So now more children join the chase with catapults and food, but their goopy mashed potatoes weren't enough to keep me glued. Up next, there was a maze of books that stretched from wall to wall. But with a big hop and a mighty flap, I managed to escape it all. I ducked past chairs and bags and desks. Now that was quite the trick. The kids thought they could stop me here, but I was much too quick. I ran outside to the jungle gym, thinking I could hide. But the recess yard was all tricked out. I'd have better luck inside. Finally, the kids gave up, but the principal gave chase. My only hope of escaping her was keeping up my pace. I slid into the coach's room and crashed into a chair. I got tangled up in jerseys, but I won't get stuck in there. I ran into a curtain. There was nowhere else to go. I couldn't get past the principal, but the curtain led to the show. My heart was racing. I started to sweat. I couldn't squawk or run. I took a deep breath. I can do this. Who knows? This might be fun. A kid stood up and pointed. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He really is, a parent agreed, in his little mascot suit. See, he's wearing a jersey that he got tangled up in, and now he looks like a sports mascot. I started to smile and even dance while the crowd continued to cheer. I was filled with joy that I took the chance and that's what started my mascot career. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! He's the football team's mascot now. Now it's time to do our How to Catch a Turkey STEM activity. Oh no, your family forgot to get a turkey for Thanksgiving and the stores are all sold out. In order to get a turkey for your Thanksgiving feast, you are going to have to design and build a turkey trap to catch a turkey. Following the engineering design process, 
Use materials in your house to build a device that can catch and trap a turkey. Here's a quick review of the engineering design process that we learned earlier in the year. Step one is ask. The second step is imagine. Step three is plan. The next step is create. And step five is improve. Here is a list of possible materials that you might have in your house to build a turkey trap. Popsicle sticks, string and yarn, glue, tape, construction paper, cardboard, a box such as an empty tissue box, a shoe box, a soda pop carton, pipe cleaners, paper plates, an empty bottle or can, plastic wrap or foil, scissors, ruler, cotton balls, a plastic cup or container, straws, or anything else you have. Be creative. Obviously, you will not need to use all of these materials. This is just a list of things you might have around your house that you could use to build your trap. Okay, here you see some examples of turkey traps. You'll see one they're made out of pipe cleaners and a soda pop carton. The one on the right on the top is made out of straws and paper. And then the one on the bottom looks like it's made out of popsicle sticks and yarn. So there's lots of different ways you can build a trap depending on what you have in your house. I am also posting some uh, turkeys that you can print out if you want to use that in your trap or you can just use a stuffed animal or a figurine or whatever you have in your house to be your turkey. When you are done building your trap, please in Seesaw share a photo of your trap. Just send me a picture and I would like you to explain your trap by answering these questions. Please explain how does your trap catch the turkey and how does it keep it in the trap. That is what you will need to submit for your post for the turkey stem activity. I hope you have fun if you decide to take the how to catch a turkey stem challenge.